Okay, so all right, so all right, so it's all right, so I'm all right, so it's all right, so hello and welcome to Laura and Fauna. I'm Laura. Here's some fauna. The show where I impart some of my randomly collective knowledge about plants and animals. And it's almost spring here in Ottawa. I'm getting pretty excited for all of the creepy crawlies that I'm going to find outside when I get to go hiking in the mud. One of the animals that comes out in the springtime that I really love seeing is the redback salamander. There are quite a few salamanders in Ontario, lots that you can catch pretty easily, but the red-backed one, he's just so little and so cute. He's got big black bulbous eyes and it makes it look like a, like a tiny little baby animal. They can grow up to nine centimeters, which is pretty big, about that big. Um, but usually when I catch them with the tail, okay, that's probably pretty close, about seven centimeters. They are technically poisonous, but I only found that out while researching to fact check myself for this video. Know a lot of things, but I didn't want to say just things that are wrong that I believe is poisonous, uh, but I honestly have never had any issue. I know I, I've handled them many times without washing my hands after. I know I've handled them with cuts on my hands. I've never been poisoned by them. They are slimy, but I wouldn't say poisonous. Something really interesting about the redback salamander though, is that they're born with gills. Even though their parents lay the eggs outside, like under a leaf or attached to a rock or something in like a little egg cluster, they're not born in water. They're born, they have gills, and within 24 hours the gills shrink up and just sort of disappear on their necks. Which I think is crazy. Why would you be born with gills if you're not born in water? And then have them like melt off after a day. So that was pretty cool to find out. Another thing that I thought was really interesting about these guys is that they, they don't reproduce every year. So a female salamander might wait three years to be able to reproduce and then she'll have a cluster of eggs and she'll only have between seven and 15 eggs. So 15 eggs at the most, so let's say 10 eggs. They protect those eggs until they hatch and on top of that, she might not have eggs again for another year. Like it's every other year that these uh, salamanders reproduce. So it's very strange to me that they are found in such high numbers when really they, they don't really have a ton of babies very often. They do eat mostly insects. They're very small, so it would be things like little midges and little fruit flies and maybe some springtails, little tiny forest animals. But they can also eat tadpoles, which is crazy. Maybe if it was like a tree frog or something. I thought that was pretty cool. Speaking of tree frogs, do you know where vanilla comes from? 